feel uncomfortable yet. <laughs> Anyways, hi, hello, YouTube land. Check your clock, this amateur hour time. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a new Let's Play, another new Let's Play, alongside Mario Party 5, The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, for the Nintendo 64, the sequel to Le uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is by far my favorite Zelda game. Like, it, it beat Ocarina of Time just by a margin, and I can't believe I'm actually finally playing it. I think some people recommend, not recommended, requested that I play this game, so... Here I am. We're playing Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is going to be a trial. <laughs> if you thought that my Ocarina of Time Let's Play was like, oh boy, you're going to see a lot of stuff in Majora's Mask because it is sad. It is scary. It is difficult, <laughs> to say the least. Those are the three things, pretty much, but it is time, guys. It is finally time. That I get to play this for you finally and I'm excited too. I'll erase this, no big. <laughs> Final erase. Alright, so yeah. Um what what the, what else can I say about this game except that I'm excited for it? Oh, yeah, um I wanted to say I will attempt to get all the masks. I feel like trying to play this game half mask whisk, half mask <laughs> is just like you can, it's cool, but you gotta get everything. You have to get everything. I'm not saying I'm gonna 100% this game, cause Lord knows I'm not a completionist. So, <laughs> probably like 70%, if anything. If, if anything that's like mainly you have to collect, it kinda is the mask. I mean, pieces of heart and all the other stuff, it's fine, but the mask to me is the most important thing in this entire game, since it kinda like revolves around it, actually. So, I, I will say that right now. And let me just put the name in. Of course, it's just going to be Link because I'm vanilla and I'm boring. <laughs> so, Link, always. You got to have the hero's name. So, other than that, I'm very excited to play this. Thank you for the request. This wouldn't have happened if it weren't for the loyal Cuckoo crew always watching. I know how much dedication you guys put into, like, just watch, like, taking some time out of your day to watch me just ramble and play video games. <laughs> But it's worth it in the end. I mean, I got through Phoenix Wright. I got through Danganronpa. I got through Ocarina of Time. Some other Mario games. And here we are. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And besides, I do have to play more Zelda on the channel anyway. If I'm supposed to be a Nintendo boy, I gotta play more Nintendo games other than Mario, you know? Also, yeah, just more Nintendo games practically. So, other than that, I'm just gonna be quiet. We're gonna just... Press the A button, decide to open this file, yes, yes, yes to all that. And without further ado, let's play The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. Here we go. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held dearly by the royal family that tells... A what? A tale? Oh, a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. And that's Navi from Ocarina of Time, because I think after like in the after credits, like she kind of just like took off. So he's still searching for her. After he completed his quest in Ocarina of Time, he just left and then here we are now. <laughs> Which is cool because it's also, they say the same thing in Wind Waker about this. Which is amazing. Ocarina of Time's lore is revolved around the Wind Waker. It's just so cool. God, I love Zelda timelines sometimes. I mean, it can get a little complicated, but if you fully understand each different Link in Zelda, it's amazing. <laughs> and there's Link. Young Link, I should probably note, I suppose. Ugh, oh, that's nice. Freaking, you know how you just get startled by two glowing bulbs of light? I know that feeling.
God, I want that mask. <laughs> <laughs> you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. All right. It's your boy, the Skull Kid. Only a minor character in Ocarina of Time, and now he's the main antagonist in the, in the sequel. Who'd have thunk? All right. <laughs> Don't touch me there. <laughs> oh, oh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. Ow. You can't, Tail. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way. You can't touch it. Aw, but sis, why can't I try it out too? So who's the younger... I'm guessing the purple one, Tail is the youngest. What are you doing with my blue piece of chalk? <laughs> I need that to write stuff with. <laughs> Give it back, you fiend. <laughs> Ugh. I need that for groceries. Mom will get angry again if I forget the bread. <laughs> So I need to write it down. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he just literally robbed me and my animal. Come on, Link, get up. Enough messing around. Enough of this. Ooh. Oh wow. It's it's been a hot while since I played Zelda. Eh. Now's not the time to be playing in the grass like a small boy. We gotta get our horse back. Which, how did you even manage to get the horse up here and jump like this? That's pretty amazing, unless you use powers and make it float, which would be, I guess, ideal. <laughs> but, can't think you do it too much. Uh-oh. So now down we go, and these are actually all the masks that I have to collect, <laughs> and some ocarinas, and then some. Woohoo! A flower? I'm allergic to whatever that kind of flower is. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. No point in riding a thing like that. So I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> Aw, boo-hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me as I am now, fool? Now he's doing his weird Irish jig on me. <laughs> What's going on with my body? <laughs> My mind is telling me no, <laughs> but my body, my body is telling me yes. You have the bluest eyes, sir. Oh, wow. What are all these scrubs? <laughs> these Deku scrubs. Leave me alone. I'm afraid of bushes. <laughs> I got bushophobia. <laughs> the fear of shrubs and bushes and all things shrubbery. No. What have you done to me? <laughs> <laughs> now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. This dude turned me into a Deku. No. Ow, ow. God, these fairies are so rude. Navi was never like this. Sis! And they're gone. Whoa, whoa! Skull Kid, wait for me! I'm still here! Tail, you can't leave without me! Aw. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. 
Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on, a helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Oh, Tail, I wonder if that child will be all right on its own. Okay, she definitely has to be the, the older sister, I'm guessing. Open. Well, your boy is a, a, a scrub, a noob, a newbie, um, whatever you are. <laughs> hey, wait for me, don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there, I, um, apologize. So, so take me with you. You want to know about that skull kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good, so then it's settled. I didn't say anything. Now then, I'll be your partner. Or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle, so, uh, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press the up C button and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully you'll manage to get by without my help until then. <laughs> it's like, okay, I guess. <laughs> ah, tattle already. Hey, if I call you, press the up C button right away. I can tell you're not very used to your Deku scrap body yet. Nah, it's not like I got transformed into it. Alright, listen up. If you press and hold the A button of the Deku scrub while standing on the Deku flower, you can dive into it. If you wait a bit before releasing the A button, you'll launch out of the flower. Press the A button while flying to descend. Did you get that? I did. Are you sure? I played this game many times. I think I know how to go into a flower. One more thing. Press the A button when you're on the ground to perform a spin attack. Thank you, little miss. Tutorials and exposition. <laughs> Alright. Woo! Easy. This, like, this is like literally the only easy part of the game, if, if any. <laughs> this is <laughs> probably the easiest by far. People who speedrun this are, I suppose, good. <laughs> I found a treasure! What we got? <gasps> I got a Deku nut! <laughs> the nut. Press the B button while flying to drop a Deku bomb. Upon impact, it makes a blinding flash, freezing enemies in their tracks. So when they, when they see the nut, <laughs> they just blind, they get blinded. Here we go. Nut. <laughs> Woo! Where is, where even is this? I really don't know. Hey you, come on, press the Z button and talk to me. All right, all right, what? There you go. See? You can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use the Z button to look at them so you can talk to them. Use Z targeting to talk to people even if they're far away. Or if there's no one to target, you can use the Z button to look straight ahead. But enough about that for now. Come on over to the tree and check it out. Alright, alright. Because I can't jump over there. If I was actually my normal self, I actually would be able to make that jump, huh? Yeah. It's up. It's strange, but the way you look at the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying at any second. How sad. Unbeknownst to the fairy, that tree's actually dead. <laughs> I don't know if many people actually know that, but that tree is actually not alive. Huh, well, I'm stuck here now. Guess I'll just be a hermit under whatever this is. <laughs> like this forever. I can live that life. Sure, I may not be able to eat like most normal people, but I can manage. See, this will be my couch. Just when people enter, people enter the, the, the thing, I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> Who dares summon the hermit? <laughs> God, you're so terrifying. <laughs> You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss. And now I've found you. 
don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For I know the way to return to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be in your means by a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I am a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you would bring back, back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. Alright. I mean, don't make no promises, but I can try my best. Here we go, guys. Dawn of the first day. 72 hours remain. Oh boy. So yeah, the main thing about Zelda Majora's Mask is a time system. Everything is based on time. No matter what little object you're doing, or not object, but task. It gives me the creeps. That mask sales was the... Sorry, just thinking aloud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to... Excuse me. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? This great fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the great fairy. Go to the shrine near the north gate. You'll find the great fairy in there. Okay. And I'm gonna say I love this music. This is like one of, probably one of my favorite tracks in the entire game. Is Clock Town Day One. Na -na. What am I doing here? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, because this. Like, please hear my plea. The masked skull kid has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy town of North Clock Town. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to collect in this game. God, this game is so amazing. It, it's been a while since I played this too, or any Zelda for that matter. I tried to play Twilight Princess on my Wii U, but it wasn't working for some reason. I was very sad. I don't know if it's just the disc, because I played it before. But man, I'm so heartbroken that it's not working right. I might just have to buy a new one. I'm like, ugh. I just hopefully I can find it for cheap, which I'm pretty sure I can. I mean, that's how I found like most of my game for cheap's. This is where we gotta go, right? Fairy's Fountain. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no! The Great Fairy! Calm yourself. I got this. Hello. Well, aren't you looking very beautiful today? Tattle. And you, young one of the altered shape. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. You can also say you can take back your statement of the altered shape. I'm shapely challenged, all right? <laughs> Or I guess it kind of means the same thing, huh? What sounds better, Altered Shape or Shapely Challenge? Probably Altered Shape. <laughs> oh, never mind. Take You can take that statement back. You've been granted magic power. In your current form, press the B button to shoot bubbles. Huh. Press and hold B to blow a big bubble. Ooh. Release the B button to shoot it. Your magic power decreases when you shoot. Replenish it with magic jars and potions. The man who lives on the observ observatory outside the town may know the school kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If ever you are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. Okay. But that's if I become human again. I need to become human. I mean, now, Deku's aren't human. 
that's that's not a thing. Never mind. <laughs> I'll just shut up again. Okay, so if I remember, I think I gotta do this next. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Easy. And then he's gonna start questioning people. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Yes. Alright, line up guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow... Wait. Tomorrow morning. I thought that said something else. By tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? So now we gotta play hide and seek with these five little delinquents. Oh, I already hear one. Their little footsteps kind of give them away. Ah, I have found you, little child. Where did you go? Hello? Oh. <laughs> ah, you caught me. Now there are only four left. All right, four left. I think there's like another one around here somewhere. Ooh, gotta get some money, of course. Uh, Tattle? What's up? Oh, why do we have to play these stupid brass little games? Come on, hurry up and find them already. Only 20, 2024 left until morning. You relax, it is literally still nine in the morning. <laughs> we have all the time in the world. Blech. Three left. Okay, so now where I think we just gotta go through other parts of town. What is this? East Clock Town. Okay. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Put down the chicken, friend. <laughs> Not only were you vandalizing property, you were harming innocent animals. Alright, two left. Uh, I think I remember. Yeah, there's one up there. Which I think I have to go through here, right? The stock pot is. Is it open? It is. Alright. Dang, two hours have passed already? Didn't I just say it was nine? Well, this place will be important later, but not now. East Clock Town. All right, I got you. Got him right in the face. One left. Um. Oh man, I didn't think you'd come over here. No, oh, like I said, I play this game obsessively. I know where you guys are. I just gotta remember. All right. So now, I think they're over here? Na 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 This is West Clock Town, correct? Yes. How far west? As west as I can go without drowning. Uh, where is this dude? Oh, there he is. Hopefully he doesn't notice me. He doesn't notice me. He does not notice me. <laughs> nope, you can't run. Ah, no way, you finally got me! It just took a couple bubbles. You're pretty good for a Deku scrub. If only you were human. Then I could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way! No scrubs! I guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can tell you only once, though, so pay close attention. Are you ready? What? Oh. 15342? The code is 15342. The entrance to our hideout is in East Clock Town. 15342. 15342. 15342. Remember that, friends. 153. Four. Two. Got it. Alright. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. 
the code is one five three four two um that's right if you know the code then you're a member right okay here you go thank you friend there's a lot of cool stuff at that telescope guy's place oh yeah and um the bomber secret society of justice forever yeah i don't think this kid gets the memo of a club he's probably not even in it <laughs> he was just like a fanboy you know like obsessively trying to get into the club like let me join please 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 and then the leader was like all right fine but actually telling him he's not in the club he told him to stand guard and then like if you if you stand guard here we'll come back for you and like we'll make sure you we'll sign the notebook and everything and he's like you do i'll make you proud captain and they never came back <laughs> so he still waits in that spot to this day i think that's a good story on how it all evolved I wonder how the astronomer knows the Skull Kid. Whoa, look at the time. You don't even have three days left. Oh no. <laughs> it's two in the afternoon. We're fine. All right. There he is. What's up, friend? I like it how in this game, every character from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is back in the sequel, which is this one, which is amazing. I love that. Well, well, a strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. <laughs> that ill mannered troublemaker from the other day said he break my instruments. He said he steal my moves, Tia. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Yes, please. Wow. Oh, well, this is what it looks like outside. Oh, there's a clock tower. And is, is it up there? Oh, God, yes, it is. Ugh, the thing is so... This is the main reason. This thing literally watches everywhere, and it's terrifying, man. I can't. This moon is horrifying. And it's an assist trophy in Smash Bros. Even worse. <laughs> Alright. There he is. I see him. Oh, that freaking moon. One of the most disturbing things in Zelda to date. Hey. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Pulling a Wario, I see you. So he knows we were looking at him. Well, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise? What was that? Perhaps another moon's tear has fallen nearby. Go to that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door, and that opens only on the eve of the carnival. Okay. The eve of the carnival. Oh, it is a moon's tear. You got the moon's tear. Its sparkling ra beauty radiates rather strangely. All right, so now we know what we gotta do with this. So we gotta head back. But first, before anything, because I think we're kind of much, pretty much done with this little mission, I suppose. So now we gotta do this. There he is. Yo, hey, baby. I'm a styling scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance till night. Shall we dance? Yes. Oh yeah, in that case, forget the time. Let's dance. Yes. Night of the first day. Sixty hours remain. Oh yeah, how was it? It went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy. Oh, so we can just... Okay, we'll just do it. Let's keep dancing. Hey, let's dance. Dance. Dab. Dance. Dab. <laughs> I wish... I wish this scarecrow would dab until the next day. Dawn of the second day. Forty-eight hours remain. 
Oh, he still says the same stuff. Okay, let's keep dancing. Let's keep dancing. And, uh, dab, dab, dab. I'm actually dabbing, yes. Get cringed on. <laughs> Woo! What else can we do to dance the night away? What other dance moves? What if, what if at one point he just starts default dancing from Fortnite? <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Why am I even speaking of Fortnite on this? Yikes. That's how you know something, this game is doing something to me. Dawn of the final day. 24 hours remain. Ooh. All right. Can we keep dancing? We can keep dancing. I like this. <laughs> Good stuff. Just wanted to be quiet so you guys can listen to the music as well. Night of the final day. 12 hours remain. We went by the new still. I'm still full of energy. Oh, this is new. But outside, it seems to have gotten kind of dangerous. Yikes, I'm getting out of town. Take care. I know a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Would you like to learn it? Sure. Oh yeah, now listen up. It seems that if you play that mysterious song backwards, you can slow the passage of time. And if you play each note twice in a row, you can move a half day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? If you learn a new song, come try it on me. Until then, I'll see you later, baby. See ya. All right, so now we gotta actually leave. But first, we gotta do this. Put the moon's tear, put our nut. God, we've been, we literally hung out here all day, or not all day, but for three whole days, no sleeping, <laughs> no eating. Wow, we are, we're a righteous bush boy. Oh yeah, I forgot, he can skip on water. I don't know why I didn't mention that. But yeah, Deku Link can skip on water. What? All right, so now we know where this gold kid is. Let's go around the clock tower. Maybe we'll learn something. Whoa, look at the time. You don't even have half a day left. Okay, that time you're actually right. You're actually right about something. East clock tower. So now we gotta head to the middle, the center of the town. Ooh, wow, it actually is looking kind of scary outside. It's, oh my god, the thing is so close. Why is this a big, big old chunk of rock so dangerous in space? Just imagine if our moon was like that. Oh my god. I mean, not descending, but just ha it has a face like this. This cannot have been created by, like, this had to have been created by magic or something. It has nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your nose, goblins. Okay, I'm sorry. You're, I know. I understand you're mad. Wait, wait, hang on. Ah, a fellow scrubbin. A scrubbian. A Deku scrubbian. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Uh huh. The town's carnival is starting to look a little iffy. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can get a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included. Well, I got one. Here you go. Ah, that stone! You must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included. Yes? Heyo, you traded the moon's tear for a land title deed. You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on the jewels for a strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot is, should be in high demand among Deku Scrubs, but you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. Okay. So, who, if I sell it, then who gets the flower? Other Deku scraps, or is he like talking about selling it at an actual shop? Can you sell stuff? I'm sure you can. Hmm, that's a question I haven't have yet to ask. 
Can you sell stuff in Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask? That's a interesting concept. I'm pretty sure you can, though. I'm pretty sure you can. Yeet! All right, you've gotten a piece of heart. Collect four pieces of heart to assemble a new heart container. Each new container you put together will increase the amount of life energy you can have. Yay. The door to the clock tower opens only once a year at midnight on the eve of the carnival. So now we gotta wait till 12, which is 10, 11, three hours. So we're literally gonna be sitting here doing nothing. That's another thing about Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Patience. <laughs> it's like, um, when you play Pikmin, how that, that's how I can explain it. Like when you play Pikmin and you're throwing your Pikmin and you're gathering like pieces to take back to the base and Olimar's just like standing there waiting for the rest of them to come back, you know? It's kind of like that, but more time consuming. What, Tattle? I know that. You told me this already. Well, I guess I can look around and see what I can... There's a dude sitting there. Hmm. So this is a clock, huh? I don't want to look at that moon. I s wish I had it. I think they actually do, um, someone, oh, I fell. Uh, someone made that kind of clock. Which is pretty legit, and I want it. Bloop. Oh, it's already about to be min midnight. That's good. That's pretty good all, all around. Alright, now we wait for the firework to go boom. Ah, the eve of the carnival. Also, the end of the world. <laughs> huh, the fireworks went off each time when the stairs went down. That's pretty cool, actually. All right, we got five hours left. Don't stop now. Look, you can get up there now. I know that, Tattle. You're far worse than Nobby, I'll tell you that much. Hello. Ooh. And there's Skull Kid. Not a word, huh? Sis. For you too. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you gave that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon, hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Ooh. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy! No! What are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you still think we're our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. God, words cannot express how disturbing this is. <laughs> and it's going down. Uh-oh. I don't have nothing to do. Five hours? Wow, this is gonna take forever to do. Oop, did I smack you, friend? <laughs> I meant to hit the moon. Sorry. But I'm just gonna sneak by and take this from you. You got the Ocarina of Time back. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. Set it to C and use the A buttons and the four C buttons to play it. Press the B button to stop. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. I remember now. You're, you are already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. I am praying, 
I am praying that your journey will be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. Okay. This reminds me of us. Okay. This is like literally the only time Zelda is ever mentioned in this game, I should mention. This is the, the Legend of Zelda game where Zelda has nothing to do with this. <laughs> so it's like pretty hilarious. Boom. Na, na. Remember the Song of Time. This melody lingering on the edges of your mind is a song of memories of Princess Zelda. The only time where she's ever mentioned. And that's it. Hopefully you had a good glimpse of Zelda because you'll never see her again. <laughs> oh, I didn't even pay attention to what that said. I was looking somewhere else. Whoops. Ow. Snap out of it! What are you doing lost in memories? Get yourself together! Getting that old ingredient back isn't gonna help us. Somebody, anybody, got us the time. Help us, please. We need more time. Well, why did you say so? Check this out. Hold on. Uh, I'm fumbling through my pockets here. <laughs> here we go. Huh? We need to get that instrument. Check it out. Let me play a little ditty for you. Save and return the dawn of the first day? Yes, please. We go in back in time. Reverse. Whee! Oh yeah, I forget. I lose everything when I go back in time. So much for the money I collected. <laughs> Ah, ah, I remember this. <laughs> I remember this too. When I mentioned my bushophobia. <laughs> I don't remember him. <laughs> I don't know who that was. <laughs> That's an odd memory to bring up. Everything's back. What just happened? Everything has... Started over. Nah, Moon Man's still up there. How you doing? <laughs> what... What are you, anyway? That song you played. That instrument. That instrument! Wait! That's it! Your instrument! The map salesman said that if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, you'd return to normal? Did you completely forget her or what? You know what? You got a point. Alright, let's go talk to this mask salesman. Alright, that's a friend. Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? Then listen to me. Please play the song I'm about to perform and remember it well. Follow along after me. Okay. Left, right, down, left, right, down. And if you play that backwards, it's actually Saria's song, which is pretty funny. Yeah. Na, na, na. Song of Healing. What's happening to my body? <laughs> I feel weird. See you later, butcherphobia. I have been healed. I no longer fear shrubbery. What? Yo, my legs are back. <laughs> This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah yes, I gave you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. 
When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. Cool. First mask. You got the Deku mask to keep as a memento. Press start to set it to left, down, or right C button on the swipe item screen. Wear this mask with C to inhabit the body of a Deku. Press C again to return to normal. Cute. <laughs> now I have fulfilled my promise to you. So, please, give me that which you promised me. Well, uh... <clears throat> <laughs> Don't tell me. My mask? You did. Get it back. Didn't you? Oh. What have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. What do you mean? It ain't that bad. The mask that was stolen from me. It is called Majora's Mask. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used in ancient tribes in its hexing rituals. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears the mask. Mm. I would love to hang that up my wall though. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's mask were so great. The ancient ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now, that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. Scary. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing that it was unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now, that imp has it. I'm begging you, you must get that mask back and quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. <laughs> really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths. Believe. Alright. Well, I'm gonna just head out now. And... Actually, I'm going to have to, uh, what? That mask. The Skull Kid uses the power of that mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that Tail was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight through, straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. Alright then, but I still gotta do some things in here, so... I'm actually gonna have to end the episode right here. Yoink! Yay, we're gonna have to end the episode off right here, guys, because we ran out of time for more. And like I said, I'm trying to shorten these uh, lengthy videos, I suppose, for this, for Legend of Zelda and Mario Party. But other than that... We'll just jump right... Wait, what did that say? No, I want to see what that said. You can save your progress and quit here. When you reselect the file, my face will appear by your file name. This indicates that the next time you reopen your file, you will resume playing at this very place and time with your current status. Warning, if you reopen this owl file, then reset without saving an owl statue, you'll lose the progress you saved here. The next time you open the file, you will start at day one with the status you had when you last saved during the song of time. Oh. Okay, so it's, like, it's sort of like a uh, sort of saving, but not. But I will do that, and we'll consider this an episode, guys. So, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Also, comment and subscribe to get new feed on videos and become a member of the Cuckoo Crew today. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter so you can recommend that the fidget games want me to play or chat your preference. Also, if you subscribe, be sure to tap that bell to get notifications on videos so you'll never miss one from me ever again. But that's going to be it from... The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask in the next episode. We'll do some more things in Clock Town, which require getting more masks. And then, then we'll probably head to the swamp, if we're lucky and I'm about fast enough. So, until then guys, have a nice day, have a nice night. Amateur is out.